charity. Listen, I want to tell you, it's a great honor, amen, that uh, Brother Brad and Sister Charity asked me to bring the word this morning. I give God all the credit. I want to tell you, I thank the Lord right now for everything he's done for me and my family. Amen. I thank him right now for my mama's healing. Amen. I want to thank God right now. Yes. Amen. Amen. I thank God. Brother Kevin, I thank him this morning. Amen. I want to tell you all something I shared with Brother Kevin, Brother Michael, and Tim here a little bit ago. Amen. I got a favorite place to go to. Amen. I can't help it. I can't stand still. I can't help it. I got a special place up on the hill. I go up there this morning. I get one-on-one -on -one with God. You know what God tells me? And I thank you. He said, he kept calling me up there this morning. I just seemed like everything kept stopping me from going up there. When I got up there, the first thing he told me, he said, Tim, guess what? I said, what, well, Lord? He said, I'm changing your message. <laughs> oh, Lord, thank you. Lord, I thank you. I praise him for that this morning. Amen. I thank him for that. Amen. He's got somebody here this morning who wants to hear the word. Amen. And I just pray that he uses me right now. Before we go any farther, I'd like to say a special prayer, if we would. Would everybody stand, our pastor and uh, Blake and Josh are on the way back. Brother Kevin's mom was sick last night. Uh, I heard that Lola's dad. Lord, we're just going to go to you right now, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Lord, we raise these people up, our pastor, and them on their way back, Lord. We pray, Lord, that you just put a hedge around their vehicle right now, Lord, from the ground up, Lord. Put a hedge around them. Lord, bring them back early for tonight's service, Lord. And on far for you, Lord, in the name of Jesus we ask. Be with Brother Kevin's mom. Lord, I pray, Lord, that the anointing would just fall upon her right now. In the name of Jesus. Devil, I rebuke you in the name of Jesus and his sickness, Lord. In the name of Jesus, Lord, we're claiming that healing. And Sister Lola's dad, Lord, we pray right now, Lord, just intervene in a mighty way. Lord, we ask this, Lord, in the name of Jesus, I pray. And Lord, I pray, Lord, that you just have your way in the remainder of this service. Lord, move old self out of the back and you in the front. Speak through me, Lord, in the name of Jesus, we ask. And everybody said, Amen. Ooh. I thank God. Amen. I thank God this morning. Listen, if I like to break the ice just a little, if I can tell you a couple of little stories about me being raised. Amen. I want to tell you all a little secret about Sister Sandra and Brother Elson. Amen. Let me tell you all something. I remember when I was a kid. Amen. This is no joke. Amen. We went to church. It didn't matter if there's a hymn sing. It didn't matter if there was a prayer meeting in the house. We was there. It didn't matter. Revival. I'm telling you, we went there. And for some unknown reason, our mom thought we could sing. Amen. And it seemed like, it seemed like everywhere we went, they asked us to sing. But I'll get to that in a minute. Amen. But I want to tell you all something. Amen. When my mom received the Holy Ghost, man, here I am. I'm in the junior high. I thought, Lord, have mercy. I never went to church in March in my life. But I thank God for it now. Amen. Every time she'd swing that door open, I'd be up to Rick's. We'd be up there playing football or something. Mom would be hollering. She'd say, Tim, church. I thought my last name was church and stood along. Amen. For that now. I do. I thank God for that. We used to go to prayer meetings. Amen. Out to Mr. and Mrs. Hills. And I'm telling you what. He took Rodney, my brother. Amen. And we're claiming that right now in the name of Jesus. Rodney's coming back to God. Amen. He's coming back to God right now. We're standing on his word. God's word does not lie. I'm telling you that right now. God's word does not lie. He needs, he, I'll tell you what he needs, church. He needs you guys to get in the word. He needs you to seek his face and fast. I'll tell you that right now. Listen, don't worry. I took a shower this morning. You guys on the front two rows will probably get a shower now. Amen. And I thank God for it. But listen, I'm telling you, i got to slow down. I feel the Holy Ghost in here this morning. 
Amen. I feel him in here. But you know what? Rufus took my brother, Rodney. He set him on his knee. And you know what song he taught him? Listen, I probably ain't going to. That's what the Lord wants. He'd sing, the devil don't ride on my wagon anymore. The devil don't ride on my wagon anymore. He's an old hitchhiker. He's been there before. Just grab him by the collar and throw him on the floor. The devil don't ride on my wagon anymore. Amen. That's what we need to do. You know that? We need to do that. We need to take authority over that. Amen. We do. We need to take authority, church, over that every morning we get up. Don't let the devil get his first jab in. Amen. Get yours. Take authority on him. Stomp on his old head. Claim it in the name of Jesus. Amen. I'll hurry. I'll move on. I'll move on. I know. I got to get to the word. But listen, I'll tell you another one real quick. 16 years old, had a 1965 Mustang. Man, I wish I had that thing now. It'd be worth a lot of money. Amen. Especially with that four barrel carburetor down in it. Had a little old set screw down in it. Shove it down. Boy, I think it'd run good in a quarter, I'm telling you. It'd do real good. Amen. I thought I was big shot. Amen. Brother Clyde Fields. Remember him, Brother Kevin? He invited mom down to sing. I'm 16 years old. I made up my mind I wasn't singing. Amen. I made up my mind I wasn't going to sing. We went up there. Mom, they called for mom to come up. Dad was there. He looked around and said, boy, up front. I said, nope. He said, boy, up front. I said, I said, I'm 16 years old. I'll do what I want. So I hurried home. Took the old car and went home. <laughs> I was like, man, forget about it. Let me tell you something. Our dad say, stay outside, Rodney. Dad, come in. Let me tell you something. Next time mom went to sing, I was the first child up front. <laughs> Amen. I was the first child, Brother Kevin, up front. Amen. That's one whipping I didn't forget. Amen. Listen, we'll get in the Word. Can you pull that up, Second Chronicles? Listen, we have a promise right here from God. It says, uh, chapter 7, verse 14. It says, Then if my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray, seek my face, and turn from their wicked ways, I will hear from heaven, and I will forgive their sins, and restore their land. Yeah. Amen. Right there. There's a promise from God right there. There's a great promise from God. There is. There's a great promise from God. I'm going to tell you right now. I'm going to pray over the word. Lord, I pray. Lord, that you just have your word. way this morning. Speak through me, Lord, I ask. Lord, move self out of the way. And I pray, Lord, that the Holy Ghost would just move in a mighty way. Lord, bless everybody here. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Amen. Uh, listen, uh, God brought it up to me. And listen, I get wore out before you guys get to hear the word I'm telling you. God brought this up to me. Uh, he brought it up to me about three months ago. And he brought it up to me again this morning. He reminded me. Listen, sometimes us as church people, amen, we get involved in a lot of things outside here. And I, listen, I understand that's okay. I understand that. I'm not knocking you for that. Kids play ball stuff. I understand that. But listen, when God, you go to pray to God and you say, Lord, and you ask him for a prayer. And you ask, and you ask, and you ask, and you ask. Listen, don't worry about it. Look at Abraham. Amen. Abraham didn't have patience. Him and his wife, they prayed for a child. God promised them that he would give them a child. But guess what? Oh, they got two anxious. I know they might have waited 65, 75 years, Brother Kevin. But I'll tell you what. You know what they did? They went ahead of God. I mean, what to do? It caused trouble. Amen. It did. It caused trouble. Amen. And it, guess what they had to do? They had to wait another 10, 11 years, and God answered their prayer. Amen. Listen, sometimes that's the way we do as Christians. Amen. We think we know what's best for us. Yeah. And that's where we get in trouble. Amen. I know I do. I know I do. Listen, there's sometimes that I pray that God don't answer my prayer real quick. Listen, you want to talk about road rates, here's your time to say amen, brother. Right there. Go ahead, sister. Go ahead. 
road rage. I'm telling you what, there ain't nothing like going down the road of Sand Hill on the way to work Monday morning at 6 o'clock, and you know good and well that them cars see your lights coming. You might not even be less than a block away. And what do they do? They pull right out in front of me. Let me tell you something. The Lord's been beating me there over this. I'm telling you, he's been ringing me over the coals over it. Sister Brenda has too. <laughs> but I'm here to tell you, listen, I've been giving it to God. Because you know what? I said, Lord, I wish I had a steel bumper on the front of this car. Amen. They'd see her heart for real. Amen. I just give him a little nudge. But you know what? I know that ain't the way God wants me to be. Ain't that right, Brother Dale? He wants us to love him, pray for him. And you know what? I've been trying that. Amen? I've been trying that. It's been hard. I'm telling you, I have to grip the steering wheel. I'm telling you, I do. But you know what? I thank God for that, Brother Kevin. Listen, I'm telling you, quit making excuses. Don't make excuses. Get into the Word of God. Seek God's face this morning. If you have a prayer that needs answered, go to him. But I'm telling you, be patient. Be patient. He might have something even better for you. You know what I'm saying? He might have something better for you. Just be patient. Wait on the Lord. Seek God's face. Listen, look at me. Amen. You know I need to fast a little more. Amen. That sister friend is good cooking. But we need to fast. I'm serious. We need to fast. Fast. Seek God's face. Get alone with God. Get along with God. If you start getting along with God, I'm telling you, He will move in your life. He will move in your family. Amen. He will bring your family in. It's lost. He will use you. I'm telling you. Trust in God. I'm telling you, lean on God. Lean on His Word and trust Him. Have faith. We've got to have faith. Listen, a mustard seed. I wish I'd have brought one this morning. It is small. Amen. Listen, I know I'm not very smart, but I know I'm smarter than the, and have more faith in a, in a mustard seed. Amen. Get in the Word of God. Trust God. Lean on Him. Amen. Yeah. Listen, I shared something earlier the other night. I got snot flying. Hanky's blowing out. But it's all right. Yeah. I shared something with uh, Brother Kevin and uh, Sister Becky the other night. I was praying and praying and praying. Last Sunday, and I was worried about preaching. It wasn't about getting up here in front of you all, but it was what God wanted. And God told me, he said, he said, go evangelize. Plow up the ground. Disc it up. Bring in the heavy equipment. Amen. That's what Brother Brad and Sister Charity is for, to come back and do the fine-tuning. Amen. To fertilize the ground, put that perfect uh, line in the ground, and put the seed in there. Amen. That's what their job is. Amen. Let me tell you something. We ought to be proud to, and thank God that we do have great pastors in this church. I'm serious. I thank God for them. I do. I thank the Lord for them this morning. Amen. I better get back up here. I got to look at the note or two. Amen. Uh, I'll tell you something else that God once brought out here this morning. Amen. Not only fasting and uh, uh reading God's Word. But I want to tell you something else. We need to put old self, get out, get out of that front seat. I know you've heard me say it here before. Get out of that front seat behind that driver's wheel. Open the door. Invite Jesus in. Put him up front. Shut the door. Get in the back. And just let him drive us. Amen. Quit making excuses. I'll tell you something. I got a lot of pride. And I'll be the first to admit that this morning. I have a lot of pride. Amen. I do. And you know what? God's been working on me on that. And I thank him for that. To get pride out of the way. So God can use me for what he wants. Not what I want to do. And quit making excuses. Amen. He, he, he used the illustration. He showed me. And I said, Lord, I don't understand. And he said, told me, quit wrestling with the devil. I give you the authority. You won't use it. So he gave he give me, uh, can I have that scripture, please? Brother Brad used Matthew 10, 1 last week. I thought, whoa, he's on my message. Amen. But we're, no, uh, Luke, 
Look here. One day, Jesus called his disciples and gave them the power. Listen here. Power. And what's that other word? Authority. To what? To cast out demons and to heal all sickness. Right there. Amen, church? Right there is a promise. All we got to do is stand on it. Stand on God's word. Trust the Lord. Amen. And that's where praying and fasting and getting along with God comes in. Amen. You hear me? We got to get along with God. You want God to use you? You want God to use your family? Get along with God. I'm telling you. I thank God for that this morning. Amen. I do. I thank the Lord. But let me tell you something. Back to wrestling and stuff. Get pride out of the way. Amen. Listen. You got the best partner you can have if you're saved and, and, and you ask God to forgive you for all your sins. You got the best partner you could ever have on your team. That's Jesus. Amen. Reach out there and tag him. Say, Lord, it's your turn. Amen. I'm a tired of fighting the devil. Amen. Give Jesus his turn. Amen. The first thing he'll do, he'll take authority over that devil right now. Amen. That's what we need to do. We do. We need to. I'm like Sister Charity. I hope everybody didn't come to hear a happy go lucky sermon this morning. If so, I'm sorry. Amen. That ain't what God wants. Amen. Listen, church, I'm a tell This just ain't a place to assemble and to come together and have a, a social club. Amen. Let me tell you something. This is God's house, and I come here to see God move. Amen. I come here to see God move. He come here to save people's souls. Amen. He come here to heal people. Listen, if you go out that door this morning, the same as you come in, that's your fault. Amen. Listen, there's a sign right there that says, you will be blessed. See that sign right there? You will be blessed. You will come. Oh, i got to come back here. I can't see that good. Amen. <laughs> you will be blessed when you come in and be blessed when you go out. Amen. There's another promise right there. Right there's another promise. That's what we need to do. We need to stand on God's word. We need to take God at his word. Amen. And say, Lord, I'm taking you at your word this morning. That's what we need to do. Amen. We need to do that this morning. Whew. Lord, have mercy. I better get to my sermon. <laughs> I'm just a kidding. I'm just a kidding. But we do need to put God in control this morning. We need to put control... God in everything in God's hands. Because it couldn't be in no better hands this morning than God's. I'm serious. It couldn't be in no better hands than God's this morning. I, I'm telling you, I thank the Lord, amen, for everything he does for us. Amen. I want to tell a little secret. Brenda might have shared it, but I feel like sharing it again this morning. We was down there on Myrtle Beach. Amen. We had Jamie... The kids and us was out in the ocean. Amen. She had Jackson. Listen, let me tell you something. We had four or five of the grandbabies out there. I threw Bentley straight in the air because I knew that I was going to get hit by this mighty wave. This wave was way, way, way up here. I'm, I'm guessing probably seven or eight feet above us. Amen. Let me tell you something. It washed us all in the sea and every, I mean, into the shore. And you know what? We got in there, you know, and everybody seemed to be okay. And the, and the first thing was about that dry ground. Amen. We prayed over them. We did. We prayed over them babies. And you know what? Them babies are here this morning. Amen. Because God gets all the glory. Amen. Listen, you got to take authority right now. It don't matter where you're at. Don't be ashamed of God. Don't be ashamed of God this morning. Even then, when you go outside these doors, don't be ashamed of God this morning. Or at any time, when God calls upon you to pray, pray. Amen. Talk to somebody if God gives you the open door. God will open that door. Take, it, take advantage of it. You say, well, I don't know what to say, Brother Tim. Amen. Open your mouth. God will fill it. Amen. He will. Just start out slow. God will fill you. He'll give you the right words to say. He will, Sister Charity. He'll give you the right things to say. And I thank God for that. 
Amen. I thank God for that this morning. Lord, have mercy. Whew. I don't know about anybody else, but I know Jesus is here this morning. Amen. He's here. He's here this morning. And listen, uh, can I have that other one, the verse, please? Matthew 18, 20. We'll probably have 21 and 22 too, please. Here in just a second. It says, For where two or three gather as my followers, I there among them. Did you hear that? What did it say? He's among us. Is that not true? 21, please. Then Peter came. Yes, sir, that ain't it. <laughs> that ain't it. Mm. Okay. All right, go to the, let's try 18, 18, my fault. That, that, that was the other sermon. <laughs> 18, 18, please. It says, I'll tell you the truth. Whatever you forbid on earth will be forget, forbidden in heaven. And whatever you permit on earth will be permitted in heaven. Listen, God's telling us if two or three gathered together. Listen, I'll tell you something right now. Everybody uses their cell phone, right? We use our cell phone. Every once in a while, me and Brother Michael back over, we corresponded together while he was gone. Amen? Listen. If you have a need, sisters, I'm telling you, get a hold of a sister that is on fire for God if you have a need. Text them. Call them. Brothers, get a hold of a brother. Amen? Get a hold of a brother. Text them. Call them. Use that phone for God. Amen? It says two or three. Listen, two or three gather together or in agreement. I'm telling you right now, when you guys come together in agreement, even in a text or on a phone, God will answer that prayer. Amen. His word don't lie. It's right here. It's right here. His word don't lie. Stand on God's word this morning. Amen. Stand on his word. That's where we fail a lot of times. We fail a lot of times by not taking authority, not doing what God gives us, but yet we want to complain. We want to complain, church. Well, God ain't answering this. Well, God ain't doing this. <laughs> well, let me tell you something. Maybe, just maybe, there might be an old sin in your life. Uh-oh, did I just say that? Well, it probably made everybody mad. But I want to tell you something. Amen, it might be the truth. Amen, I'll tell you a while back, the three months ago, I couldn't move. I couldn't move. I couldn't understand why God wasn't using me. I couldn't understand couldn't understand if why God wasn't using me. And I, I just didn't understand. You know what? <laughs> Road rage. <laughs> Road rage. Amen. Road rage. And you know what? It was killing my witness. It was. It was killing my witness. In front of my wife, my grandkids. Amen. In front of my friends. It was. I was letting the road rage kill my Heavenly walk with my Father in heaven. And I don't want to do that. I'm telling you, don't let. I'm going to tell you something right now. Pastor hit this last week. I'm going to bring it back up. Don't you give that devil nothing. Don't you give him nothing. Don't you give him no credit. Don't you give him nothing. Amen. Stand on God's word this morning. Amen. You put him right in his place. Say, devil, you have to flee. Right now. And I'll tell you what, when you use the name of Jesus, he can't stand it. He's got to leave right now. Amen. Stand on God's word. Stand on it. Use, use your authority. And when you do, you'll see that God will move. God will move. I'm telling you right now, God will move and use you. Amen. I don't know about the rest of you. I told Brother Kevin this the other night. I said, you know what? If there's people in the church, amen, that's got a talent or got something calling in their life that truly God has called them, amen, Lord, give it to me. 
But listen, if it's of the devil, amen, they can keep it, amen. I don't want nothing but what Jesus has for me, amen. I'm serious. I mean, I want more and more and more of Jesus. I do. I want more and more of Jesus in my life. I want Jesus to use me and get old self out of the road. That's what I want this morning. Amen. I'm a, whew, amen. I better be quiet. I better slow down a little bit. Amen. But listen to me, people. I'm serious. We need to get serious about God. We need to get real serious about God. We do. It's hard to quit playing games. It is. It's hard to quit playing games. It's hard. It is time to lean on Jesus. Amen. Just reach out your hand and give it to Jesus. Amen. He'll take care of you and your family. He will. I'm telling you. Trust him. Trust him this morning. Amen. I pray that you guys will do that this morning. Amen. Amen.